other interesting political news, you have Ron DeSantis calling out San Francisco only for cleaning up when China visits. Now, San Francisco, it's basically in a perpetual, what is it? That's a nice way of saying a hellhole. It's an instance where crime is at all time high, theft is at all time high, drug use, human fecal matter on the ground in public. It's all at all time high. Theft is through the roof. Even CNN couldn't hide it when they did an interview with, I believe it was Walgreens up in Moscow, where they had an interview to talk about the retail theft, which is exponentially growing in the United States. And during that interview, someone walked into the CVS, took an item and just walked out. No one's even stopping these people. And yes, you do get what you vote for. They voted to basically make it not no longer a felony to steal up to $950. They changed it to a category of a misdemeanor. And with the public sector and the public court system with the prosecutors, the easiest thing for them to do because it's a high volume business is they go for plea deals. So instead of prosecuting them for the full charge, they can say, hey, if we don't go to court, we'll just plea down to this. So they moved it from plea down from a felony to misdemeanor. Now it's going from misdemeanor to basically nothing in the rare occasions where they actually do prosecute and do arrest people, which is few and far in between. Now, DeSantis specifically said, quote, San Francisco has deteriorated into chaos and squalor under democratic rule. They can't clean up the city for Americans, but they can clean it up for Xi Jinping. It, Xi Jinping? Yeah, I say that. It shows that all you need to know about who really know, runs the show, unquote. And that got about 629,000 views and 9.3 thousand likes. And I suspect, given that, I suspect there'll be overall overwhelmingly positive comments since it really isn't about DeSantis. He's more calling out the ineptitudes of the current political and cultural situation in San Francisco. Now, usually, Ron DeSantis is ratioed by the Trump fans and the, a lot of folks, actually. But I'm going to guess it's mostly positive. Let's dive in the comments and find out. Someone by the name of Proud Elephant who gets an A plus, well, an A for marketing. They do have a picture of an elephant in their profile picture. However, in their profile name, they have an emoji of an eagle, which is also an American. However, why not the elephant emoji as well? So, nevertheless, pretty good marketing. This Proud Elephant says, quote, Gavin Newsom is the worst governor in America, and it's not even close. Ron DeSantis is the best governor in America, and it's not even close. Matt got 140 likes. Matt Grilly says, quote, it shows they clean up if they want to, unquote, getting 42 likes. Red Wave Press says, quote, DeSantis is going to rip Newsom a new one on November 30th. Follow if you agree, unquote, getting 43 likes. It is a weird phenomenon where they're having a debate because Gavin Newsom is still not officially running for president. I think we all know he is. But, yeah, we'll see if he actually, quote, unquote, tears him a new one. I mean, while his political stances and his choices has helped turn the city into a hellhole, Gavin Newsom is a very prudent speaker. He's very articulate, and I'm pretty sure he'd probably be a good debater. It's one of those things. A wise man once said, never underestimate your enemies. So, again, the DeSantis team, they need an overhaul to say the least. But I hope they're not underestimating Gavin, because, yeah, all, this, all the stats are, yeah, the city's gone to hell. Businesses are leaving in droves. People are leaving in droves. And yet... Gavin Newsom gets reelected time and time and time again. Well, there may be very many reasons for that, but it is partially because he's an articulate speaker. So it'll be interesting to see how that debate really goes. Someone by the name of Photographic Floridian says, quote, I was in San Francisco recently, and the drive to Twitter HQ is worse than anything you can find in Florida. I'm quote, getting 30 likes. Someone by five level 13 says, quote, when you finish eating corn dogs in Iowa, swing by Broward County, Florida. And this is a picture which says, quote, just in outside Broward DCF office, people are in line outside the office because DCF is not answering calls. More than 50% of Medicaid terminations are due to, quote, procedural issues, i.e. the applicant couldn't reach anyone, while thousands of others are losing SNAP benefits because they have been unable to complete interview views or had their applications processed within 30 days. If you're here or have experienced the same, drop it in the chat. Hashtag my FLP fam or FLF families. That got 44 likes. So there is a little contrarian statement. So someone going against the grain, so to say. 
Ashkash Bahida says, quote, clean up for the elites, but not for thee, unquote, getting 39 likes, which this is a good little ponder alteration on the cliche or the very famous saying, saying rules for thee, but not for me. So I approve. So my name of Don simply says, go them, go get them Ronnie, unquote, getting 10 likes. Let's see here. Someone by the name of Alyssa Alexander says, quote, it doesn't look like San Francisco anymore, and it doesn't look like America anymore, unquote, getting seven likes. Leeds Explorer says, quote, Ron is far better leader than Gavin. Zero confidence in Gavin's ability to lead, unquote, getting seven likes. Let's see here. And this is a clip. I believe of Gavin Newsom actually admitting, oh yeah, we cleaned it up just for China. So this is a clip. It looks like originally by Ryan FJB LGB with two American flags and two eagle emojis in the profile name. And is reposted by Polybus Champion. Play this really quick. Anytime you put on an event. Again, this is Gavin Newsom. By definition, you know, you have people over your house. You're going to clean up the house. You have 21 world leaders. You've got tens of thousands of people coming from all uh, around the globe. Uh, what an opportunity to showcase the world's most extraordinary place, San Francisco. <laughs> Anytime you put on... That is by far the least extraordinary place in the world. San Francisco? The place that is so much human excrement on the streets, they created an app to track that so you could have a little futile attempt to avoid it, but there's such a high volume of it because of the cultural breakdown that there was just a big brown map. It, it was all populous by the excrement on the map. Let me know in the comments, does anyone still consider San Francisco to be a beautiful, safe place? I mean, I hear countless stories about people finding a plethora of needles and drugs in the streets just lying about, homelessness out of control. And I don't think most people would voluntarily visit the place. I mean, you need a copious amount of armor, protective gear. Yeah. I mean, we make a great horror film. That's an idea for the cinema community. Now, that little reclip got 13 likes. Someone by the name of Jay claimed, they say, quote, Florida has a, crier, a higher crime rate in every category, unquote. They had to get 10 likes, interestingly enough. Let's see here. DeSantis or Press says, quote, typical W from DeSantis, getting eight likes. A lot of people saying can't wait to see the debate. Ingrid Ekoff says, quote, the explanation is obvious. The government didn't want to clean up earlier because they didn't want to, unquote, getting five likes. So it looks like, let's see, Sheik Evans said, quote, no, Governor Newsom owns you for sure, unquote, getting 13 likes. Hate to, John Troda says, quote, hate to break it to you, but your campaign has deteriorated faster than the city of San Francisco, unquote, getting eight likes. So it looks like not as bad as the, as the Chris Christie ratio effect, a phenomenon which is almost statistically impossible in which no one has a positive response to you, which I believe actually happened twice when we were coming Chris Christie. Looks like there's a fair amount and actually a little bit more support than usual looking at the comments. It's like, again, if DeSantis in terms of movies on the political chessboard, he just keep highlighting the differences between the way he governs, the way Newsom governs, and just show the differences between the states. I mean, where are people moving? Which one is cleaner? Which one is safer? Which one would you rather raise a family? If, if he can drive those points home, it might be able to reverse that trend of his precipitous downfall. Again, DeSantis, when he started this campaign, in terms of the statistics of the Republican nominee, is consistently around 35%. And, a, and Trump is around 45%. And throughout the past few months, it's just increased exponentially. Now DeSantis is down to about 14%, and Trump is up to 58%. So DeSantis desperately needs to turn that trend around to get the increase to actually go up in favorability. It'll be interesting to see. Let me know, does this increase your perception of DeSantis? Do you think this will be a good thing for him to lean into for the campaign? Be fascinated here. what you have to say. Thank you again, everyone, for taking the time to tune in today. Don't forget to take the time to like and subscribe and comment. Try to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of November, so you can click that button. I greatly appreciate it. 
Also, the comments and the feedback are greatly appreciated because that's how I make the show better and better and improve. Lastly, don't forget to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.